Hey there, folks. Come along as we dive into the world of mango farming. We're pumped to show you the ropes on how these juicy fruits go from seed to supermarket. This video is packed with info that'll give you the inside scoop on the mango biz. Spotlighting the hard work farmers put in to bring new tech on board, boosting both yield and quality. Got questions or want to share your thoughts? Drop them in the comments. If you're all about mangoes, spread the love and share this with your fellow mango aficionados. Let's get into the nitty gritty of growing mangoes. It kicks off with farmers picking out the best mango type and getting the dirt ready for planting. Those mango seeds get some TLC in the nursery, getting grafted before making the trip to their new home in the fields. Mango trees are like high maintenance friends. They need constant watering, feeding, and pruning to keep them healthy and looking sharp. Fast forward a bit, and those trees start to flower and, fingers crossed, churn out fruit. Depending on what kind of mango you're dealing with, you might be waiting a hot minute or years. But trust me, it's worth the wait. Harvest time is a big deal. We've got to time it just right, picking out the cream of the crop. It's all about the right tools and a gentle touch to make sure we're getting top-notch mangoes. Once they're ready to go, we snip them from the trees and pack them up for their next stop be it the local market or a processing plant. Time is of the essence to keep everything fresh. If mangoes are your jam, hit us up with a one in the comments. Post-harvest. It's all about keeping those mango trees happy and healthy for the next round. Proper care means we can keep enjoying that sweet, sweet fruit season after season. In 2022, the big players in mango exports were Thailand, Mexico, India, Vietnam, and Indonesia, dominating the scene with a whopping 2.8 million tons between them, baking up 74% of the global mango market. Thailand's In the lead, sending out over 1.2 million tons of these bad boys. Mexico and India are not far behind, with Vietnam and Indonesia rounding out the top five. That's a lot of mangoes, y'all. Now, let's talk tech. Engineers are stepping up their game, bringing AI and lasers into the mix to spot mangoes with mind-blowing precision. Watching those robots work their magic in the mango fields is something else. Mangoes aren't just tasty, they're a powerhouse of nutrients packed with vitamins A and C, potassium, iron, and fiber, all great for keeping you energized and healthy. They're also pretty chill, helping to reduce stress and soothe your stomach, making digestion a breeze. The antioxidants in mangoes are legit, fighting off aging and giving your immune system a boost.
Plus, mangoes are a hit in all sorts of recipes. From juices and smoothies to salads and desserts, adding a burst of flavor and nutrition to your meals. Mangoes are a big deal, not just for their health benefits but also for their economic impact, playing a key role in agriculture and trade. way more than just a tasty ingredient in the kitchen. They're also packed with health benefits that have been recognized for ages. In traditional medicine, mangoes are known for their sweet flavor and cool vibe, packing a punch with detoxifying effects, heat relief, headache and cough relief, flu-fighting powers, liver support, and anti-inflammatory properties, to name a few. Modern science backs this up, showing that mangoes are loaded with antioxidants and essential nutrients like vitamin C, A, B6, potassium, magnesium, and fiber. These nutrients are key players in boosting immune function, cutting down the risk of heart disease, lowering cholesterol and blood pressure, enhancing digestion, and promoting healthy skin. So, it's no surprise that mangoes are a big hit in both culinary and medical circles around the globe. Now, let's switch gears to an incredible story from the Netherlands about a strawberry production business that's totally crushing it. Juan van Gip stands out as a true pioneer, committed to delivering top-notch strawberries that aren't just about meeting quality standards but are also bursting with flavor and freshness. This enterprise is all in on adopting cutting-edge farming tech and methods. Ever seen a state-of-the-art hydroponic strawberry farm? Their NGS rotating gutter system is a game-changer, making it possible to manage production at scale while ensuring efficient watering and harvesting.
The greenhouse's retractable roof is another tech marvel, allowing for precise control over light, temperature, and humidity, all key factors for growing the perfect strawberry. The result? An impressive yield of premium strawberries, thanks to these sophisticated systems and controlled conditions. And let's not overlook the genius of Farmer Dre's nylon covering machine. A visit to his farm was a real eye-opener for me. This gadget isn't just cool. It's a game-changer, protecting crops while slashing the time and labor usually needed. It automates the tedious task of laying down nylon sheets, ramping up efficiency and productivity in a big way. Props to Farmer Dre for this innovative tool, marking a huge leap in strawberry farming efficiency. With tools like the water wheel planting machine, farmers can plant up to 33,000 strawberry plants in just five working days, making it a standout solution for boosting productivity and ensuring uniformity in planting. If you've got a green thumb for strawberries, there's a lot to explore, but the water wheel planter is definitely worth a look for its time-saving and productivity benefits. Got any strawberry growing stories of your own? Drop a comment and share your insights with the community. Moving on, the age-old craft of traditional sausage making is not just about culinary skills, it's a hallmark of culinary excellence, especially in Chinese cuisine where it shines during major festivals. Unlike the usual fare, 
traditional Chinese sausages are crafted entirely from fresh, high-quality meat. The process starts with finely mincing pork belly, then seasoning it with salt, sugar, soy sauce, rice wine, and a blend of spices including garlic, ginger, and white pepper to nail that authentic Chinese taste. The mix of seasoned lean meat with chunky fat pieces, turned into sausages stuffed into natural casings, results in a unique delicacy that's a standout in Chinese culinary traditions. These sausages are then air-dried and smoked on bamboo sticks for about two weeks, a step that deepens the flavor and imparts a tantalizing aroma, setting the stage for a taste experience that's nothing short of sensational. Let's take a moment to indulge in the rich aroma of spices and sausages, complemented by a perfect harmony of vegetables. My taste buds are already on overdrive. Keen to try this dish? Beyond sausages, smoked pork holds a special place in traditional Chinese cuisine, marking its importance during key celebrations. Pork belly is the go-to for Chinese smoked meat. Ever wonder why? It's got just the right amount of fat to give the bacon a deep, rich, and crispy taste. Plus, pork belly hits the sweet spot with its texture, staying soft and juicy even after smoking. Workers season the meat slices with salt. Salt, pepper, and a mix of secret spices. Then they're left to marinate in a sealed room overnight. The next day, it's rinse time to get them ready for the next step. Smoking pork belly is a bit more of an art form compared to sausages. The meat hangs out for about three days to soak up all those spice flavors evenly before it's off to the smoking chamber. They use sawdust to smoke up the place, giving the meat that signature taste. Once smoked, these Chinese delicacies are carefully packaged for the market.
this isn't just about keeping them fresh. It's about making them easy for folks to enjoy. The flavor of the smoked meat? It's like a perfect mix of spices and tradition. A bite of this stuff is a journey through China's culinary history. Have you ever dived into the art of Chinese ham? The story behind China's Hanoa ham is like stepping back in time. This isn't your average dried ham. It's a slice of history dating back to the Southern Song Dynasty. The process is a year-long labor of love that ends in a ham that's nothing short of a culinary gem. The shop that makes this ham isn't just any shop. It's been around since the Qing Dynasty, 170 years and counting, and even made its way to Taiwan seven years back. Let's jet over to a modern sausage factory in South Korea. Here, sausage making is elevated to an art form. The whole operation kicks off with picking out the best meats and spices to create that standout Korean sausage flavor. Thanks to modern tech lake grinders, mixers, and stuffers, they're churning out sausages with precision and speed. Then, it's steaming and smoking time locking in that unique taste and crispiness. The great A Korean sausage factory isn't just cranking out sausages. It's a hub of innovation and hard work, where every sausage is a masterpiece showcasing the dedication to Korean culinary arts. Now, let's talk about getting those potatoes out of the ground. There's this awesome machine that digs and plows deep to bring up the spuds, followed by a cutter that deals with the roots and stems, separating the potatoes and getting them ready for transport. Then, 
a conveyor belt steps and to move the potatoes into containers, adjustable for different terrains and speeds. This potato harvesting setup is all about efficiency, making the farmer's life a whole lot easier. Switching gears to the plant tape system, a game changer in planting developed over a decade by a Central Coast company. This system's been a boon for lettuce farming across 8,000 acres, slashing labor needs and bumping up productivity. According to Scott Grabow, the CEO, they're not stopping at lettuce. Trials are ongoing to expand this tech to other crops, with the goal of saving even more in labor costs and boosting efficiency across the board. With its versatility and automation, plant tape is on track to revolutionize large-scale farming. Out in Salinas, California, there's this cutting-edge spinach harvester that's changing the game for veggie farms. Dreamed up by the folks at Ram Highlander and making its home in the furrow grounds of the Salinas Valley, this machine is a farmer's high-tech dream. It's got all the bells and whistles, a cutting system to ditch the roots, a conveyor belt to move the spinach along, and a processing setup that keeps the leaves and ditches the stems. Those stems get neatly lined up and packed off, ready to hit the road to stores and kitchens. This slick operation cuts down on the heavy lifting for farmers, making the whole farm-to-table journey quicker and less of a sweat. Imagine, if you're hauling pots of plants by hand, maybe you can manage five at a time. Hook up with this lifting tech, and you're moving 15 times that without breaking a sweat. Pretty cool. This conveyor belt might remind you of the one we saw for lettuce. But don't be fooled. The way it works for spinach is a whole different ballgame. Manual cutting is still a must here, and it'd take a small army of farmers to match what this machine can handle. Jumping Gazelle's Planter 2016, 
this piece of tech is all about making planting a breeze. Launched in 2016, it's designed to take the guesswork out of gardening, handling the fertilizing, watering, and nurturing all on its own. And you're not tied to the garden hose. You can run the show from your smartphone or tablet. Zell's planter uses the latest in tech to keep your greenery in tip-top shape, all while being mindful of water use and energy consumption. So you're doing your part for the planet too. Switching gears to Sudan grass, this tough plant is a superstar in both livestock feeding and as a biofuel source. A cross between sorghum and Sudan grass, it thrives in dry, hot conditions, baking it a go-to for challenging climates and varied soil types. It's a win-win, offering high nutrition feed for animals and a green choice for renewable energy production. Over in Northwest Ohio, J.D. Russell Hay and Straw Incorporated is all about premium dry hay, supplying racetracks across the nation. They've got the gear to ensure top-notch quality, from self-propelled mowers to custom balers and forklifts, all geared towards producing the best hay with minimal fuss. They're on a mission to deliver exceptional hay products, backed by years of expertise and a commitment to reasonable pricing. Last up. The Fent 942 Plow and Horch Feldspurt Spray Machine are key players on the agricultural front. The Fent 942 Plow cuts through any terrain like butter, making it a godsend for big operations. And the Horch Feldspurt keeps crops healthy and pest-free, essential for keeping those yields high and mighty. This sprayer is all about smart tech, decked out with an auto control setup and fogging tech to hit the pesticides right where they need to go. It's a game changer, keeping crops safe while cutting back on waste and slashing pesticide costs. These tools are big deals in the farming world, boosting productivity, quality, and efficiency like nobody's business.
Then there's MNHAGR Logistic, stepping up with fertilizer hauls and services that really amp up farm production and local economies. Harvesting cabbage isn't for the faint of heart. It's a tough gig that demands real skill, patience, and elbow grease. Farmers get down to business as the day fades, prepping and fixing up Gear Lake cabbage slicers and conveyors to make sure everything runs smooth. They wield sharp knives to precisely cut each cabbage, then lay them on the conveyor, all while being super careful to dodge any mishaps in the low light. a dance of diligence and safety, keeping things moving without a hitch. This is modern farming tech in action, folks. Check out the setup in Lipton, Saskatchewan, where two Case IH620 quad track tractors team up to haul a massive 7,550 gallon fertilizer tank. This rig, with its direct seeding and precision sensors, nails the fertilizer spread per acre, cranking up planting precision and efficiency. But the real kicker? They're rolling out an anhydrous direct seeding setup to get weed seeds in the ground, boosting nutrient levels and keeping losses low during planting. It's a solid example of how leaning into new agri-tech can ramp up productivity while being kind to our planet. The Baron Dr. Agro VF machine is another slice of high-tech farming, this time for sugar beets. It's built to gently lift beets from the dirt and strip away any Klingons lake debris or grass. Cruising over fields, it uses a sawtooth system to nip beets at the root, then a blade setup trims off the unnecessary bits. Beets then make their way to storage via conveyor, with the whole process designed to keep the beets in top shape, pushing sugar production to be more efficient, cost-effective, and able to meet our sweet cravings. For those into veggie gardening, the Baby Compact Machine is a standout, 
especially for celery planting. Created by Chi and Magal in Italy, this little powerhouse can plant a dozen rows at once, all while saving you time and backache. It's packed with features like irrigation and automatic planting systems, plus synchronization and remote control for a smooth planting experience. And it's compact, easy-to-move design means you can tuck it away when you're done. No sweat.